Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's get started with today's video. In this brief episode, we're going to give you an overview of the text and display options available within the full line of robotics cameras. This feature allows you to display not only static, but also dynamic informational text on the image, uh, which will update in real time, depending on the variables you've chosen to utilize. You can even display real time weather from supported weather stations like this one from Davis Instruments. How cool is that? And before we get started, just a reminder about the online help available. Just click the yellow question mark in the upper right hand corner when you need more info within the page you currently have displayed. There's also a ton of information available from our website, mobotics.com, and our community pages, community.mobotics.com. Okay, let's get started. From the camera's homepage, click on Setup menu. From the image control section, click on text and display settings. In here, you can turn off all text from the live image, enable just the date and time display, or along with the date and time, enable the ability to display certain variables, which we'll cover in a few moments. Moving down the page, you have a choice between three standard font sizes and another six font sizes when it comes to displaying error messages. You can choose not to display error messages, although we would not suggest that. Error messages play a significant role in the health of any surveillance system. The display options area of this page allows you to utilize symbols, which helps display event levels and their triggering thresholds in real time using either a bar type graph or a scroll chart type graph. Here's an example of what the scroll chart looks like in action. Notice the window on the lower left hand corner of the image. The small white line on the right hand side of this window represents the detection threshold programmed over in the image analysis section. The graphic line turns from green to red when the amount of activity exceeds the detection threshold. Last on this page is the object tracing feature, which if enabled will draw your attention to movements within the image and what direction those movements are taking. Now back to variables, which we mentioned earlier. There's a vast number of choices here when deciding what kind of information you'd like to display on the live images. We highly suggest reading the help manual regarding these, which can be displayed by clicking again the yellow question mark in the upper right hand corner of the page. A couple examples for the type of information you can display on the live image are camera temperature and frame rate. All you need to do is open the help menu, activate a search box, and then search for what you're looking to do. Here we'll search for the word temperature, and you'll see that it took us right to where we needed to be. Just copy the syntax here, and then paste it into the display box. To find the frame rate variable, we'll do the same. After pasting these, click on Set to display this information on the image. Remember that you have some flexibility as to how this information is displayed, so try different things to find what best suits your needs. Again, check out all the options available inside the Variables section, which can really enhance your surveillance project. That's about it guys, and we hope this helps you uh, within this area of the setup process. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.